In the years after World War I, more than 100,000 Jews were murdered in pogroms across Ukraine. Today's guest is an acclaimed historian who says this targeted violence sowed the seeds for the Holocaust that would arrive two decades later. He's Jeffrey Weidlinger, this week on Story in the Public Square. Hello and welcome to a Story in the Public Square, where storytelling meets public affairs. I'm Jim Lutis from the Pell Center at Salve Regina University. And I'm G. Wayne Miller, also from Salve's Pell Center. This week we're joined by Jeffrey Weidlinger, the Joseph Brodsky Collegiate Professor of History and Judaic Studies at the University of Michigan. He's also the author of a new book, In the Midst of Civilized Europe, the 1918 to 1921 pogroms in Ukraine and the onset of the Holocaust. He joins us today from Michigan. Jeff, thank you so much for being with us. Thanks for having me. Pleasure to be here. You know, Jeff, I, I was mentioning this to you before we started taping, but I was talking to my dad on the phone as we were driving here, and I, I was telling him a little bit about your book and, and, and basically uh, concluded that uh, I'm not a historian. I'm simply a student of history. You have written a masterful work here, and we just want to no note that from the outset. I, I, I suspect that most of our audience uh, knows what a pogrom is. But for those students who maybe weren't paying enough attention in history class, what is a pogrom? You know, it's a term that can mean a wide variety of different types of acts of violence. Predominantly, it's used to describe acts of violence against Jews. Um, could be used to describe acts of violence against any group. And traditionally, we think of it as a type of race riot. As a group of locals, predominantly, attacking Jewish civilians, attacking stores, uh, the word is the Russian word itself, um, which comes from the word meaning to to rob, to uh, to, to fight with. And uh, it's used to describe a wide variety of different types of violence, including not only race riots, but also military actions can be used as pogroms. So a military coming into a town and rounding up Jews and killing them could be called a pogrom. And the people that we interviewed in fact, call them pogroms. So there's uh, a long history of anti-Semitism uh, in Europe, uh, and in Eastern Europe in particular. Uh, could you give us, you pick up the thread in the, in the, in the last decades of the 19th century. Uh, what is the position of Jews in Eastern European society in those decades before the First World War? Yeah, so what we find is that violence seems to come in waves. The first major wave of pogroms against Jews